Greetings, everybody. It's me. I'm back. Yes, I am back. Sorry, it's been a couple weeks. I was sick last week, and it was no fun at all. So, I'm sure you would want a video of me being able to talk. Because last week, that was an impossible thing for me. I could not talk. So today I have a big box of regrets uh, products I hate or that just didn't work for me. And um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and share those with you today. Well, I'm going to share them with you. So yeah. All right, let's get to going. My first regret is actually in the background ripping up papers and all sorts of nonsense. Give me my first here he is. This is my first regret. I regret purchasing this thing. Love him to death, but he ruins a lot of things. Oh, thank you, Franklin. Um, he ruins a lot of things. He ruins my floors. He has peed on our bed. He poops on everything. Um, but he is my baby. He is my baby. But yes, this would be my first, my first regret of of this video. Yes, Frank? Yes, Frank, are you ready? All right. Let's just do random pick selection here. Okay. My next regret is Secrets Body Spray. It's Scent Expressions. It's called Passion de Tango. I've had this for about two years and I have not even finished it. Actually, probably almost three years. Um, and I still haven't finished it. The smell, it smells nice. It, it smells, it smells all right. Um, but it just, it literally lasts like two seconds and then it's gone. So it's not really my first go-to product. My next uh, regret, I totally hate this product. I love other products in the line, but I totally hate this product. It is the D Fluff from Lush. I guess you shave your legs with it or something like that. It says, had enough of the rough stuff? It's time to defluff. Smooth things over with this rich softening cream. What? Um, yeah, uh, I hated it. I hated it. It made my legs like feel really dry and yuck. I don't like, I did not like this product at all. It smelled nice though. It smelled nice. The next product I did not like was, oh my gosh, this is so full. I've only used it like a couple times, but it's the Ion Moisture Solutions. I think it's from Sally's. I bought it from Sally's, but yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know. It made my hair, it says that it's intense moisture for dry and chemically treated hair, but it honestly, it made my hair feel really dry and hay-like, like it breaking apart and stuff. No thanks. No thanks for that one. On the next product, um, I mean, I didn't hate this product. It was a nice cleanser, but it just didn't really work for me. Uh, what is it called? It's like a philosophy cleanser. It's called Clear Days Ahead. Looks like that. Michael's watching me. Um, it's called Clear Days Ahead, and I don't know, it just didn't really work for me. It just seemed like a regular old cleanser. It didn't seem to help me with my acne at all, so. Blah. My next um, regret, I didn't really buy this. It was actually a sample in my Beauty Box 5, but is the um, Keratin Protein Hask Smoothing Deep Conditioner. Guys, I hated this product. I hated it. It was awful. In my mind, it literally made my hair feel hard. Like I had just put like a butt ass load of freaking mousse or something in it. It was bad. I hated it so much. Um, I used it to shave my legs after because um, it smelled, it smelled nice, but it sucks at its job. It sucks. It sucks. Bad. So we're just gonna, just gonna throw that away. My next one is, I'm very disappointed in this, but it's Yes to Blueberries, Age Refresh. Guys, I don't like this product. I do not like it. I'm trying to use it just so I, you know, didn't waste my money or whatever. But, um, yeah, I don't like this product. It makes my face feel freaking, like, sticky when I use it. It's a what, Yes to Blueberries, Age Refresh, Intensive Skin Repair Serum. Guys, 
it makes my face feel like I just like put some bubble gum on it and just like it's like sticky. I'm like I mean, I have I have sh sucky skin anyways. Who needs to add stickiness to that shit? Uh, you know. But yeah, so not something I enjoy at all. And it's like 20 bucks, guys. It's 20 bucks. And I ain't rich, all right? Just saying. Okay. My next one is from Botanics. That is the line. And it is the Ionic Clay Mask Shine Away. It's like a clay mask or whatever. That's what it looks like. And, I mean, I don't hate this product, but it's not my favorite. It's so, like, runny. It doesn't have, like, a thick texture to it. It's very runny. It's like, it's like, it's almost like diarrhea texture. <laughs> it's, it's a nasty texture. It's thin, and it doesn't do really much for, do much for my skin anyways. But I do like bo the Botanics, um, their line. I like a lot of things in them, but there's a couple products I'm not the biggest fan of, and this is one of them. Okay, my last and final one, I recently bought this. I've been trying to like it, but I really just don't. It is the Shea Moisture um, Lavender and Wild Orchid Bath Body and Massage Oil. I've been trying to use this in like my baths to like kind of like, I don't know, relax me and detox my body and stuff like that. Um, and you know, get my skin to be a little less dry. Lately it's been so dry. If you have something to help with like dry skin, like my face is dry, my body's dry, someone help me. I'm like, I feel like I've been living in the freaking, well I do live in the desert guys. <laughs> we live in Las Vegas, Nevada. But um, yes, uh, I, well, the thing I can't stand about it is the smell. I just can't, guys. I just can't. I love the smell of lavender and wild orchid, and I, I hate this smell. This smell, it just stinks. It doesn't smell like either one of them. It smells literally like chemicals. Ugh. It smells like rubber and chemicals mixed together. I'm like, ugh. Yeah, no. You don't want to use this product. I don't like it. You probably won't either, unless you can't smell for shit. Guys, I'm really trying not to cuss on, my, cuss on my channel, but sometimes this stuff makes me angry. Like, don't advertise as lavender and wild orchid it when it smells like shit. Okay? I mean, I don't, I don't get it. But yes, that is another product. That is my last product that I have that I truly just haven't enjoyed. I feel like I wasted my money on them. Um, but yeah, guys, um, go ahead and uh, share with me products that you don't like. How about share with me Shit, ugh. guys, I can't talk. I can't talk. I don't know how to talk. Um, but yeah, sh share with me some products you don't like. Share products with me that you do like and that I should try because you know what? I am always down for trying cosmetic type things. I love trying body washes, face washes, face creams, all sorts of that stuff, conditioners, hair products, whatever. I'm down. So if you guys have any suggestions for me, throw them. Throw them at me and leave them in the comments or whatever and if you like the video if you like me give me a big old thumbs up that would be lovely and please subscribe because you know what i love um building my uh this circle of trust and love and whatever we're gonna be the morganators how about that i'm just trying to come up with a cute little name for our little family <laughs> all right guys well um, I really enjoyed um, talking to you guys this week. It has been a while. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try and keep it more on track. I'm going to try and do a video every Wednesday. You know, you never think that this this YouTube stuff is hard work, but it really is. Like, um, I mean, I work 40 hours a week, normal working job, but um, I mean, it's hard when you know you're doing your normal job and then you do this on the side. It's so it's so hard. I mean, I only do it for fun, but yeah, I try and keep you know my viewers happy. Not that I have very many, but I still love everybody. Uh, but yeah, so uh, thank you guys for watching, and I guess I will see you guys next Wednesday. Love you guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.